Good morning, traders. While May and Corbyn are looking for a Brexit customs compromise just hours ahead of the critical deadline, Euro finally moved further from 112 psychological level and could head higher provided ECB delivers an optimistic statement tomorrow, which I doubt personally will be the case. They're more likely going to uh, remain on the sidelines after announcing TLTRO 3. Now, apart from Euro dollar, I will talk also about um, dollar cut. The Canadian dollar seems to be getting from crude oil's rally to fresh highs, while the possibility of a war in Libya intensifies, threatening to disrupt oil supplies. Now, today is the Tuesday, the 9th of April, and we are expecting markets to be quiet on the economic front. Uh, we are uh, going to receive some uh, Mm, not too major data from Europe, as well as a little bit more of a major on the U.S. side with Joel's job opening. Just to pay uh, attention to yesterday's um, uh, Euro-dollar rally, you see German data came out uh, worse than expected, as you can see, but because there is a divergence between uh, exports and imports, uh, okay, this is what actually was considered good for um, for the uh, European Union, as the exports were actually uh, larger in terms of quantities than the imports. Now let's jump quickly on the chart. Please note that none of the recommendations here constitute investment advice, and losses can exceed can exceed profits. Uh, so we are starting with euro dollar daily. Uh, we talked about this uh, impulse wave to the upside and we were expecting prices to correct down around 112. The question is if this uh, bully, bearish um, move has finished. Well, we do see indeed a good signal on the MACD uh, lines. Uh, I wouldn't say anything much on the histogram. And... Um, we see prices actually being rejected down on this and in triagonal pattern. Now, if we go a little bit low on the four hour, we'll be able to see a few more signs. Okay, so we are moving down for the fifth wave. Okay, or the question is, are we moving down for the fifth wave? We were, last week, we identified uh, this move and we were uh, actually looking at a triple combo Okay, now in case, in case prices stop um, right at this confluence level, okay, which is around 130 psychological, um, we, we could see prices going all the way down to complete the, uh, the uh, triple, the third wave of this bearish move. Okay, now the thing is that we don't get much of... Um, bearish signs or bullish signs, so I would be expecting to see more of those once prices move a little bit higher, okay? Now, in the scenario, of course, we see a break above 113.24, then there's no triple combo. It will just be a double, and prices could head all the way up here, okay? Down on the one hour. Um, we see this good move from yesterday, okay, opening up to today. Uh, we saw a little bit of a correction, which is expected. A retest at this previous level, which is near 112.50, also psychological level. And now prices are moving a little bit higher with a small momentum, and we have bands squeezing together. So we could be expecting a breakout very soon, because when the bands are coming together, this always indicates an imminent breakout, okay? Whether this is up or down, we don't know, but most likely is going to be on the upside, um, considering the current market structure. Now, I want to go quickly uh, on the dollar, dollar cut as well. As we said, um, that dollar has seen, um, the Canadian has seen some good uh, moves and some strength uh, because of the oil, uh, the, the risk of uh, supply uh, disruptions. We were on the daily card, we're moving on a on a uh, probably corrective wave over here. Okay, we're expecting prices uh, in the medium term to break below that level to complete this uh, bullish 
uh, move, okay? Um, and we are also receiving this uh, bearish signal. So this is also supporting the, uh, the bearish momentum on the daily chart. Of course, if we go a little bit lower, just to have a better view of what's happening. So we are, this is, this is a bullish expanded flat that we are looking at. We received a correction here. The first wave down, first impulse, then second uh, corrective. And we are expecting after this break to see the third wave down below even 130 in the medium uh, in the medium term. Okay, now in here we are moving in this uh, pattern. So we could see prices uh, from here because we receive a rejection around 1.33. Uh, we could see prices now correcting a little bit higher uh, before start moving lower. Okay. And um, or the other scenario, of course, would be just to, to receive a complete break. Uh, but that would require a little bit of momentum, okay? Uh, because the, we had a, a steep decline yesterday, okay? A steep decline. And normally after these, uh, markets are normally uh, going into a sideways or a, a, a not deep correction, just marginal correction before they start moving lower, okay? Now a little bit uh, lower down again and another time frame, 60 minutes. So we moved here and uh, we completed the uh, bearish move and we are in ABC, which is uh, corrected up to around 134.100, which is also the um, level we will be looking to hold in case prices moved up, okay? If this doesn't hold it, that would invalidate the bearish scenario, at least um, for the time being, prices would move all the way up to that uh, trend line um, level around above 134, and then we will be looking to receive further clues up here, most likely going down. Now, we do receive on the one hour chart a uh, very good um, bullish signal, which is between uh, the MACD histogram and also the uh, prices. So that is uh, also supporting the corrective move that we talked about a little bit earlier. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if prices move uh, maybe to even to the top of this level, okay, around 133,800, uh, or you know, we could see that just moving anywhere between these levels, okay? 133.80 and 133, maybe up to the 50 Fibonacci retracement, and then move back lower. I would expect, of course, here to see some, um, some uh, bearish signals from the MACD and RSI on just the MACD, just by receiving a bearish um, um, hidden divergence here. So I want to see the MACD histogram moving higher, okay, from this, uh, within, the, within this time frame, pretty much, okay. Now note, of course, that steep uh, moves um, sometimes stick lower to this price, to this level, because it's a strong support, and then uh, we receive the second wave, uh, which is equal to the first one, okay? So if you measure uh, this PIP range difference, okay, you could receive another wave down here, which is the same range size. I want to thank you for uh, being with us for another day. If you like our video, hit the like button. I recommend once again that you keep an eye on our blog, as this is where we'll cover the latest news, we'll publish trading ideas and provide the necessary tools uh, a trader needs, serving you responsibly.